uh, you know, tough game. Uh, congratulations to Miami. I thought they played very well. Um, and I thought we played, you know, reasonably well tonight. Um, both teams executed offensively pretty well in the game. <sighs> Defensively, I, you know, I just didn't think we, we did enough good things to get enough stops to win. Um, they were probably just a little too comfortable throughout. Uh, but they've got good players, and they can they can space you because they've got a bunch of guys that can make threes. Where they had four guys at least make two threes tonight. Um, you know they don't turn the ball over much. They're they're experienced guards, so it's hard to speed them up. It's hard to get them up, you know out of control. They don't have many bad possessions. Um, and you know, the, I thought our team played pretty well. We had a few turnovers in the first half, uh, but the second half we only had two turnovers. I mean, we almost, you know, we shoot eight, 48 percent. We have 17 assists. We make 10 threes. We just, we just didn't stop them. Uh, you know, they're a, they're a really talented offensive team, and and uh, we needed two more stops to win the game. And and for whatever reason tonight, we just weren't quite good enough to get it. Coach Larinago was kind of beside himself that they out rebounded you the way they did. Was was that kind of shocking for you too? Yeah, I'm disappointed. You know, the only only thing I've been disappointed in my team about a little bit this year is I, you know, our guys are not aggressive enough offensive rebounding, uh, and I think you know some of that I think is you know I, I think that's who you are. Um, we have a lot of really nice kids and they're skilled players and they. They're, they're good basket, but they we 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 need a little more toughness sometimes. Um, you know, it's it's uh, sometimes you just, and we talked about offensive rebounding in this game, and we only got two. Right now, the other thing I would say is we we, we downsized and played Hunter Tyson at the four during the game um, because we we felt like we were having trouble guarding them, and we needed to keep up with them scoring, and Ian and. RJ maybe weren't quite as you know much offensively gifted for us as some of our smaller guys, and so we played our older guards a little bit more and, and Hunter at the four. And offensively, it was fine. Defensively, probably just okay. Um, but we're not, you know, we don't have another guy down around the basket area as much in those scenarios. We're more four out around PJ, and so there probably aren't going to be as many natural offensive rebounds. Um, but yeah, that's you know, Omir for them is I mean, he's a terrific rebounder now. He's one of the best in the league. And he got four today and obviously the one at the end of the game when we needed to stop was a big one. Brad, what did you think of the lineup with Chauncey is maybe a little bit of guy with Yeah, it was okay. Out. Like I thought it was fine, you know, he had an opportunity to get a rebound, shot away from it, um, made a defensive error in transition, gave up a layup, made a great three. Um, you know, I'll, I'll go back and watch a little bit more. I think he's going to be a really good player for us. Um, you know, he's, you know, maybe I should have played him a little bit more in the second half to see, but I kind of just went with older guys, you know, more tonight down the stretch. What is that challenge right now? You've got Alex coming back, you've got two younger guys. And yeah, it's been, it's been a little time. hard. Like, I, you know, we, we've, we got to figure. We, you know, it's the good news is we're back whole for the most part. I mean, we're not, you know, just these guys that have been hurt. Now they're still. It's not like everything just goes away, right? I mean, Chase's ankle is still sore, and PJ's knee still bothers him some, and you know all the things that you're dealing with. Um, but having said that, like we need a break for a little bit. We need a week to, you know, hopefully get a little more healthy, rest a little bit, and then just get back in the gym as a full unit. We haven't. We haven't had many days other than the last two to kind of get whole. And uh, we actually made a couple mistakes on some, some things we were running, um, you know, a couple times tonight where some of it might be lack of reps for guys through practice. Uh, and we had a couple of offensive errors in just alignment and uh, execution of a couple actions that, you know, we usually don't, our older guys make better plays and better decisions. Like Alex had one late that, was really costly where right? I thought he missed PJ wide open in the middle of the lane under the basket and uh, didn't throw it to him, you know, and it's, you know, but the guy hasn't played very much. So he knew he missed it as soon as he threw it to the next guy. But so there was a couple of those uh, just from not playing as much.
thought Middlebrooks provided a nice spark there in the second half. Is that yeah. encouraging? Yeah, see? he's he's he gives us energy. I think he and RJ, you know, are two energy givers for our team. I think those guys give us a little juice, and, and uh, you know, he's one of the guys that does go to the offensive glass. He's a good offensive rebounder for us. Um, so yes, probably he's good. Tyson had stretch. Tyson had seven shots. Were they denying? They did a good job on him, you know. I mean, I think the one thing everybody has to understand is Hunter's not as good a like dribble drive guy, right? So it's not as easy for Hunter to just catch a ball on a wing and go dribble drive and score all the time. He can do it some, right? But he's not. There's some things that he has limitations with that, you know, it's not quite as easy. So it's not as easy to just kind of get him a ball in a closeout or, you know, do some things to always get him the ball in a position where he can score. Um, and I thought Miami did a nice job in the second half. Um, you know, I have to look back to see if there were times we missed him. There might be. Um, but yeah, he was. You know, he made those shots in the first half. It was really good. I wish. You know, certainly we'd love to get him a few more. He just couldn't quite get them. Read that stretch where Miami opened up the twelve-point lead. Is that the, you were talking about the defense? Is that where? Maybe yeah, it was a little yeah. Just I, I just thought even in the first half, we gave up some transition. Guys got behind us. Like Chase went to the basket a few times, and you know Brevin and Chauncey Wiggins one time, and maybe even Hunter one time. Like we didn't rotate back, and we gave those guys a few open court plays, and their surge, you know, got a couple easy ones. Um, you know, we probably should have been ahead at halftime. Um, I felt like we were playing fairly well and except for the turnovers and defensively, I thought we were a little better. Um, and then in the second half, I just thought they got comfortable and, you know, they're hard covers. Guys make shots. Like, they got a lot of guys that are shot makers. And uh, we did a good job on, you know, on Wall on some stuff, but then, you know, he kicks it out because you've got to have a man and a half on him a lot of times. And Wooga Poplar makes two threes, right? I mean, you got to give him credit. Uh, Jordan Miller makes two threes. So Harold Beverly makes a nice three off of, in the first half off a of kind of a wraparound pass to the other side that those are big time shots. And uh, there are guys that, you know, maybe they're secondary guys hit big shots and that, that can get you beat. Two right. straight losses when you're trying to stay on top of the league, <laughs> extend your lead in the league, are you sensing any pressure no. with your guys living at the no. top of the ACC? No, we don't, we don't really talk about it. A lot. I mean, we obviously mentioned it, but no, I, I just, we didn't, you know, we played okay today. Like, I don't think we played, you know, we didn't play great defensively. Uh, our defense let us down, but if there had been pressure, you wouldn't have seen us make 10 threes and make eight out of nine free throws and have 17 assists. And, um, it would have, it would have shown more in bad offensive basketball. Um, we just had trouble guarding a very good offensive team today. Lost. Chris as well. It's good. Yeah, we need it. I, mean, I just, you know, I think our team's a little tired. Um, you know, we're tired physically, not just mentally. It's more, like, there's some physical fatigue from, you know, guys being playing through some, you know, knickknack injuries and just the Hunter Tysons of the world playing all these minutes and all these games. And, um, so it'll, it'll be good for us. Hopefully we get refreshed and, and, uh, you know, clean up a couple things and get ready for the stretch run. As well as you all have shot the free throws first in the league, would you like to get to the free throw yeah. line more than well, nine we, times? Well, we don't have as many drive guys as everybody else, you know, sometimes. We're, we're, so we got we got to punch it into PJ. We, you know, some of our guys got to be aggressive and get in there and try to draw a few more. You know, we talked about it a little bit today that, you know, in the first half we felt like we got to the bonus pretty, pretty early but didn't take advantage of it as much as we would have liked. Um, we really didn't get there in the second half, and you know, um, I thought the game was you know fine in terms of they, they didn't foul a lot, we didn't foul a lot. I mean, it was you know, except for me being the head coach at Clemson, it was probably a decent game to watch in terms of shot making and baskets, and um, you know, we had some <clears throat> breakdowns, and obviously them pulling away from us made it hard, but we made a couple good runs back, and and. Uh, you know, we just couldn't get enough of the stops we needed and, and then a couple opportunistic baskets we needed to, to score we didn't get. We had a couple around there that, you know, we missed a couple layups. You know, we've, 
you know, I know Chase had one, I know Ben had one, you know, we had a couple other ones that are kind of right there. And uh, in a game when you lose by four, those are, that's tough. First thing is why Chase has struggled less. Yeah, a little bit. I, I think he's probably a little tired. I really do. I think, you know, I, I probably played him too much tonight. I, I needed to take him out again and give him, you know, three or four more minutes of rest and keep him fresh. That's that's my mistake, uh, but I do think yeah I do think there's been a little bit of fatigue uh, with Chase, uh, and and obviously you know I don't, I don't know if he's got quite the pop he doesn't you know Chase doesn't say a lot so he doesn't complain like he doesn't he's not gonna come in and say coach my ankle's really bothering me I'm you know he's just gonna try to play and do what he can do and, um, but he hasn't shot the ball as well as he normally does. I don't know what the crazy thing is. There have been some games, the Pitt game and the, the Florida State game, you know, at the end of the games when we really need a basket, he's made some crazy hard shots. Um, but there have been a lot of some other games. Like Boston College, he got his first three shots of the second half were wide open. Two wide open threes and a wide open free throw line jumper, and he missed them all. You know, it's kind of like that, that, that was, you know, that's happened and you're a little frustration. So there, there might be a little bit of that. We'll bounce back. Is Alex on a time limit? Yes. It's like 20? Yeah, they, they, you know, anything basically under 20. Behind, behind Chase right now is quick, though. I just trying to figure out. Yeah, just, just different up. games, different. It might be Dylan, it might be Josh. It's, you know, 